This is a direct repeat of 2018. Rode the entire team elimination bracket to second place. Yep. That's literally what we said, man. We were like, holy fuck. It's literally 2018 BlizzCon all over again. Because we knew. We knew if we got second that that team was probably going to 4-0 us anyways. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like we didn't know. We fucking knew. Of course we know. As a competitor, you know which teams are going to fucking roast you. So we knew. It was like, all right, well, we can definitely get second. Because we know Meth is going to shit on us. So we can get second. We can beat the other two. We can beat the other two teams. Can't fucking beat that team. Tell me this isn't your... This this shouldn't be your reaction. If you're getting fucking 1v3'd essentially by monks, they're just running in and killing your whole team, holding W. What the fuck are you supposed to do but laugh? At how fucking stupid it is. What are you supposed to do? We're one minute into the game? And we're almost gonna die through every cooldown. We've we've used everything: trinket, link, earthens, disperse, fade. What the fuck? What do we do? Just laugh, laugh it off. Fuck it. Yeah, monks are insane. That's a good team though, man. You can't discredit you can't discredit method. Like monks are fucking insane. And it's annoying as fuck for sure. But like they've been winning as everything. They win as RPS. They win as fucking Windwalker Mage. They win as Warrior Mage. They win as Rogue Mage. They win as Boomy Windwalker. Like, they win as God Comp. They win as fucking eight different comps. So it's all good. Fuck it. For our team specifically, the monks are like the hardest thing. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Think about how crazy this is, okay? We literally started playing at like 3 p.m. We started playing in this tournament at like 3 p.m. Three series back to back to back. Fucking insane day. Fucking insane day, dude. For anyone who does not know, Shadow Priest Rogue has, like, RPS has always been really good into other Shadow Priests. It's always been good into Double Caster or Melee Caster, and it's been good specifically into Shadow Priest teams. So, when we had our last pick, it's like, okay, well, we've got a good counter pick here. We can pick the map. We can pick our comp. So, we have, a, we have our map pick and our counter comp. And we know RPS is good into Shadow Priest when like it's good into Shadow Priest Melee and other Shadow Priest comps. So we played it. The issue is monks. Like the issue is monks just do so much fucking damage that it doesn't matter. That's all it is. Our plan was to all in. The reason we didn't play Druid is because our plan was to all in every game. If we wanted to dampen, we would have played Druid, but our plan wasn't to live or dampen. Our plan was to run in and just try to kill them as fast as we can, which is why we played Shaman with Purges and like extra Crawl CC and Wind Shears. It just wasn't enough. He's pummeled into a store ball. I mean, Jelly Beans is pumping. Uh, Jelly Beans came to play here in game number one. He could easily get the It's crazy how much Shadow's damage trap. Jelly, Bean Jelly does. From across the field, going for the kill on this it's just so much fucking damage, dude. Astral shift to try and stabilize, but now they've swapped to Aiden. Born Good has to Divine Shield. Defense after defense is being cracked. I mean, yeah, Druid can. You can live better on Druid probably because you have more healing, right? Like you have way more healing on Druid than Shaman. The issue is you're probably never going to get a clone and you don't have like grounding and sheer. So it's like you're only healing. You can't really go offensive on Druid when you're playing like Thug Leave, you know? I can't believe this game, man. We, we, fought, we fought Turbo before. We expected them to Windwalker Warrior though. We expected them to Windwalker Warrior. Yeah, no purge either. So like, when we fought this team, for example, like getting Bop is really important. Uh, a scatter. Playing C9, it's really important to have the Shaman for the Mage CC and Lock CC and also purging. No, Druid is good for healing for sure, but that's all you're good for. Like, when you're playing Druid, comps like Druid Thug, Druid Melee Cleaves, you're only good for the healing. You're not good for any CC or anything else. Yeah, so there was this game. Oh no. <laughs> Whisk game might throw. Whisk game might throw. Dude, look at my face. <laughs> I was watching this and I'm literally like, What's it you? It's you. Disperse, 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 disperse. And then he dies. And I'm just like, What? Like, really? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then we realize he DC'd. You can see me say it too. Look at me. Look at my words. He DC'd. He DC'd. Fucking knew it instantly. It's like, oh. This guy just fucking disconnected in the most important series of the day.
Not bad. Like, look right here. Look at how we die. We've got Link. Trinket in 20 seconds. Vince has everything. Wiz has Disperse, Fade, Swap, and Trinket in 10. They've got no Trinket, no Bubble, one Bop left, no Sack, no Wall. And then we just DC. <laughs> And then we just DC, bro. It's like, wow. Uh, and then game two. Have been around forever this game was well. a little rough for so us de defensively, here, but so still. Can hold it together, they were I think dominant. it's really hard for them to live. We're doing so much pressure. All right, let's see. And then the Unleashed Challenge is so good when you fight these, these comps. Because all I do, I should do it right here. All I do is I just, right here, this, this blue swirly thing. All I have to do is, is Unleash Shield on every Stormbolt. And if I only shield on every Stormbolt, you know, there's a chance that we can just live the bolt or we don't have to use as many CDs during that go. So that helps a lot with this. Because before when we fought Turbo, they did too much damage and we never had, we couldn't rotate cooldowns enough to actually beat Turbo. But because of the Unleash talent and Vince doing so much damage, uh, it's a lot harder for them. As long as they can. Some time yeah, the town's insane, happen. man. It's so fucking broken, honestly. I mean, it's, fuck it. Like, everyone else has fucking 20 disgusting cooldowns in this game, but yeah. Unleash Shield is, is a really fucking good talent. Yeah, Vince was going ham, dude. He's always the target. Yeah, Wiz is always the target for sure against the melee cleaves and stuff. You have to go Priest, man. If you guys ever watch any game where they get off the Shadow Priest, Wiz will literally 1v3 them. If we ever fight a team where they get off the Priest for more than like 10 seconds or so, he just 1v3s the team. You get full dots out, you get a full Siphene, purge every buff, you can MC spam, it's insane. So you have to go Priest. These games went pretty clean for us defensively when Wiz used Fade and Disperse. Outside of, you know, we could have definitely rotated a little bit better, played a lot cleaner for my part too. But any time for that, and this is this is advice for anyone who plays anything Shatter Priest into melee cleaves. If you are ever if you are ever in a position where you have to fade or disperse against a melee cleave, or just in general, you want to make sure that during your fade and disperse, you don't just stand there. You need to reposition. So like right here, if you watch this go, Freezing trap, the only necro lord. I get feared. I'm still feared. Wiz disperses high, which is fine because I get out of the fear. I still have trinket link. We have fade in ten seconds, and we have swap still. So Paladin in the we get disperse here because he also doom wins. I think. I think shaman doom wins as well. So or he did something. Game so some value, but he's we disperse here, and what does he do? He runs across the map. So like right here, you watch Wiz, he disperses, runs across the map and kites the turbo. So now it's, we get what? Two, three seconds of just less time of, of being on him. Obviously I have to link there, but like it could have been way worse, you know? Way more behind. It's crazy, this go, this is literally their go and they're just still getting roasted, man. Still getting roasted. Stun, double fear. Can you get the trap? Full freezing trap. Who's gonna fall first? It's over. Texan or Whiskey? Whiskey goes, oh, goes down. Take that kill. So this game, I think Scatter is actually a good comp into Warrior Mage. I think we could have easily won this game. Uh, if little things went better. The overlap didn't happen. We kind of had a weird strategy too. At one point, we like didn't commit to all, like to pushing in because of the overlap too. So this game wasn't our best game. We had an overlap here, which sucked really bad. They kind of just had a lot of damage here. They storm bolted, and that, I think he just pressed combust here. Yeah, storm bolt. Press combust, and then this sucked too because it was like kind of it wasn't random damage, but he took a lot of damage. So we ended up. I wasn't sure if he was gonna get out of the bolt and actually just die. So I dropped my link, and then he feigned a turn too. So like, that sucked. Dude, oh my god, this part was so annoying, guys. Comes down to a 2v3. The Paladin is completely oom. Paladin mana regen is ass. Mage has no CDs. And what happens? I think they kill him here. We get sacked though right before he dies. And then... Where is it? We actually so continue to play this game. Look at this. He's got no oh my God. Oh. Fucking Shadowlands, bro. We proc caught Paladin's Oom. Full stun silence. 
He gets fucking seeded. He gets fucking seeded. And we just can't kill the seed. We just can't kill the seed, bro. That was so close. He could have killed the seed. Wiz can't kill the seed, bro. You literally can't kill the fucking seed on Priest. Like right here, maybe maybe he would have gotten a global for Void Bolt, but Void Bolt does like 3k damage. It does like 3k damage. So I was killing it too. I fucking was trying to lava burst it. Trying to sit there and lava burst it and just couldn't kill it. Fucking seed, bro. What a way to what a way to fucking lose the 2v3. The classic. So basically with this game, we're tied 2-2. Obviously lost one of the games because of the DC. And we lost the game as Scatter. And I think a lot of that is due to the map. That map is really good for them when it comes to fighting Scatter because the mage can, you know, double blink back and just line for the whole go. So it's really hard to connect to the mage when he plays like that. And we already know after losing to Scatter that RPS is just better into Warrior Mage. Yeah, this game was crazy because it got, it randomly got like kind of sketchy for like 30 seconds or so. Yeah, I'm gonna go back Knife A Bless. Oh, this game was so nice. I was so happy we killed the seed this game. Born good flesh crafting, trying to anticipate crowd control. Fear on Absurd, Polly on Peekaboo. They've isolated Wiz K. We finally rotated back to these. Wiz had dispersed for this too. Nuke's gonna send the combustion here. He sends the combustion. Wiz K immediate dispersion. More than a fair trade. And they purge off the combustion. So nice. Immediately. Nice reaction. The seed, yeah, bro. Guardian. Fuck the seed, bro. Dude, that 2v3 with you was so fucking troll. I don't know why. Okay, so I don't know why. We somehow had the confidence as Shadow Priest Shaman. That we were going to win the 2v3. Shadow Priest Shaman, that we were going to kill the seed. The two classes that can't fucking kill the seed. We were like, oh, dude, seed, kill it. It's like, no, we fucking lost. Fucking can't kill the seed. I was so happy to kill the seed right here. Yeah, it's SP and Mage for sure. Mage is like by far the first, and then Priest is after because Priest compliments Mage well. Or I would say Mage compliments Priest. So Priest is pretty good. But it, it needs the mage or the warrior. Like, it needs support from a lot of other classes. Rogan Chom, true. Thank God we killed that seed, bro. I don't even feel like watching the method games. Fuck it. But I watched the C9 games. This was kind of surprising that they played MLD first. I thought they were going to god comp first, but... I thought they were going to god comp or turbo first, so this was kind of surprising, but... Yeah. This part was pretty crazy. We're at 35% damp. We've got virtually every cooldown. Uh, we actually do have every fucking cooldown. And we realize that the lock has no wall. The druid's almost oom. So we pretty much have to all in the lock here and just run at him. And eventually we get a nice... Pika's like sucking a root or something. He's too far. And we get a nice, uh, a nice life grip. Also, they didn't point this out. But Wiz actually faded his coil at the end of the game too. To get the grip. Yeah, right here. Look how far he is. He's so low. This is the go. This is the go to win the game. He's got the dark he gets stuck in a Nova. Dark pack comes again. Wiz fades. Look at this right here. Fades the coil. Uh -oh. Fades the coil. Could be it. Game one. And then Golden gets Guardian. the spell out of the sheep. Grips Pika out of the root. Step kidney. Silence. Game over. Oh, oh, that grip. Fucking that insane. That was nice. Yeah, after we won that first game, well, even then we already knew fighting C9. We had a good, we had a good You're matchups, like but BFA. that first game definitely were. Fucking excited. Yeah, so this game was the same. As always, Turbo's gonna be really fucking hard. They just do a lot of damage. So always gonna be rough fighting this just because they do so much fucking damage and obviously any little mistake you do. You kind of capitalize with either like you know good warrior damage, win for your procs, sentence, whatever. So and this needs to be their moment to strike back to swap the peekaboo. I think we had one scary moment in this game where we kind of ran out of cooldowns. Double, we can't, we ran out of trinkets. And it was kind of scary for a sec, but this game overall was pretty solid. This part of the game was so crazy because we actually got feared into a position that fucked Cub, that fucked Cubsy over really hard. So this was a good, uh, this was crazy to be in this spot because of that fear. So that fear put us in this corner by the boards. And you'll see in a second here. We get a kidney on the shaman, and we actually get a hex that sits on the pally for a long time. 
because of the fact that he was just in my line from this positioning. We do something here. Maybe Wiz silences him too. Or does he just die? I guess he just dies out of the stun. I think I shackle him too. So this was crazy. Holy fuck. On all the ghosts. setting up for the full Hex, Hex on to Cubsy. Lava Bursts are coming in. Rally and Cry is not going to be enough. Golden Guardians. Got the shackle too. Potential here. Guys, you know what motivates our team? For so long. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front with any of you. You know what motivates the team? Cash flow, baby. Cash flow, baby. Wake up today and it's like, oh, what the fuck? If we get second place, we get like an extra nine grand. What the fuck? All right, we gotta try. With sort of their Fucking play good. Don't and, suck. Uh, it's just it's that simple. That it's like, oh, we can make an extra nine grand today? Really seeing those results play good. Play out today right in front of us. Don't so fucking suck. If they get a this was so crazy. No cloak on people. This right here was like one of those checkmate situations in WoW. The prize pool, uh, 45k for second, 70 for first, 20 for third, 15 for fourth. Split four ways. Right here. I'd love to see a swap over to This was like right a, a one of those bus. checkmate type checkmate type of moments. Wow. They do their go when we're already at the pillar and they mess up. I think they messed up the silence on me. I was like barely out of range or something, out of the stun or something. Something happened where I, I, I got really I guess I didn't even have any follow up because we were so far, but I got the mind games on Pika's dispel. He pressed vile. And I think he realized And then right here. We're all back here. We get a full flesh craft. I kick his shifting as well. Get a nice kick on the shifting so we can't get any uh, shields back. And then we just run out with our CC and they die. And we got a nice blind on Trinket too, I think. Run back in. Garrote the mage. Kidney him. Silence the Druid. Druid trinkets the silence instantly because the game is over right there. But Pika is right there for the blind. Full blind. The game is just over. The game is just over. To take him down, Holy fuck. The golden guard. So fucking exciting. Two series in a row. 3 0 Cloud 9. They're going to the final. Money, man. When money's on the line, our team does well. <laughs> and he lands as no, a second place is good, man. I'm happy. Seed. I'm killing this one. <laughs> and that's it. I'm really proud of how we did. All right. Then we get to the final. Any cool this was so annoying holds on to them how we died here. Go. I think I, I pulled this go. If anything so I only shield the go right here. I only shield. This is the most potential we've and then we get robbed. Seen from the Golden Guardians. Oh. Just pull it off and then Wiz fades, but it's too late. So Wiz, what he should have done is just insta fade. So I think we fucked up on. Uh, we didn't get to sack the combust either. Spinning and they just kill us. That shit was so hard to. It's so hard to keep Wiz alive against that. And this game right here sucked because, dude, my fucking earthen wall. I I explained this earlier. Oh my god, I literally clicked right on it. Guys, if you look right here, obviously, you know, you're, you're watching my stream. You know, you know, your boy's going to get the fucking earthen wall, right? You know, I'm going to get the earthen wall. You know, I'm going to earthen the go every fucking time. So I get a fleshcraft here. They can't CC me for a few seconds. And if you look at the top right, I pressed earthen and I earthen the go. I get blinded like half a second later. Yeah. Is it, is it? Is half a second blinded. And guess what? My fucking earthen wall totem is on the fucking wall. It's on the the random ass tree behind my line of sight. Because fuck this game, that's why. There's really no other answer. I don't want to be that guy, but fuck this game. That's why. That's why right there. So annoying, bro. My earthen wall just goes onto the fucking tree on the roof. On the roof of the map. How? And I think, I really think we would have lived here too. Like they do their go. Thank you for setting the mood for us. We get Hodge, we disperse here. And we, can also we also disperse kind of late, but at the same time, I don't blame Wiz. Like he literally got chunked 60-0 in one hit. Fully enjoy what's about um, to happen here. So this is the disperse. We disperse. So Still CC'd. Disperse. I get all my globals yeah. off too. The funny part about this too, is I actually get so many globals of heals out of the CC. Oops, the earth and, and then right here, I get incapped. You ready? You guys ready for the Windwalker Monk damage? Spirit Link is not a cooldown against Windwalker Monk, clearly. Clearly not a fucking cooldown. Look at this. I have Trinket Link still. I'm going to in-cap ring. Okay, here. Oh, Bob's the Monk. Images? 
Hamsters not getting paralyzed into ring of frost into the legs with trigger spirit leg fucking all dead anyways the, the Tasmanian devil Drake here just <laughs> spinning his way around the map so sad dude everything. I swear if I if my earthen was actually down there we don't die I swear we don't die there if my earthen's there because I had it for the whole go and so that, that was really annoying I just don't have enough uh I got DB2 on my cast yeah pretty shitty i want to watch this our game our win should we watch the one win audience part where they're just trying our thug cleave win this is yeah. absolutely the thug cleave bro drake smirk pisses me off all right the fucking drake smirk he's just like well yeah up. spin on him on brain he's used to it bro he's too used to winning this guy's been winning every tournament he's too used to it he can't even be happy anymore you can't even be that you can't even be excited when you win everything he already wins everything man and uh, Drake just watch the wins four times and it's like a 4-0 true it was weird that they went me in this in this uh matchup it was weird that they decided to train me i figured they would just go hunter but Initial smoke bomb from Peekaboo. Drake still going absolutely crazy here. There's a touch of karma. They're trying to bust through it. Drake they probably get so much hate. Yeah, people are fucking annoying, so they would definitely get hated a lot for sure. Just like C9 did when they were doing well, dampening everyone. There's a full garrote onto Brain as well as Drake. Wow. There it is. Zach is finally going to. What was crazy about this series is we still almost fucking lost. Dude, oh my god. Look at how fried this is. So this game. For anyone who's wondering too, I'm playing Cephus as well. So I'm Orc Cephus uh, to get out of CC faster and obviously to just not die in the, in the one Hodge go. And they actually do a go on me as Orc Cephus and they like 100 me. I get the link. They kill the link, 100 our whole team still. And then I get a sentence anyways. Look at this. But Abster, it's the, the next, next go. It's right here. He could be lights out here. They just need to paralyze him. Here it comes. I kite him on his go. Times. And they do it. Cheap shot onto Brain. They try to continue the chain here once again onto Drake. And then right here, I get hodged. Look at this hodge. 3.8 seconds. Harry. Mage combust. 3.2. The monk still isn't there. Potential kidney Hammers. The monk connects to me at 1.8. Look at my health. Hammer of Justice Drake now. Dead. Oh, that's it. The spinning crank. I link. We're all dead. Nice, baby. Nice, baby. Every cooldown, one go. <laughs> Every cooldown, one fucking go. Yeah, but he stayed alive. If Peekaboo and Jelly Beans can connect onto Drake, they're oh my so God. close, but Drake is just running away. Grapple weapon on Peekaboo. Thankfully, he died here. I think he might have been. Normally, Drake is really good at like porting these goes. I think he may have been too far or something. I don't remember where his port was. But he, we actually get the stun trap here, and he doesn't port the kidney. So we kill him. A stun. Jelly Beans moves we over kill him, bro. Trap. Can Drake eat it? No, he can't. Drake's in a stun. This has to be Divine Holy Shield. Fuck. You're not sitting this brain. Drake oh, can go down. God. They've done it. Golden Guardians have broken the oh, We got our one they win, bro. Board, <laughs> we got our one win. We got our one win. Together. That's our first win ever in like a year against this team. All right. That's their first win. Uh, against this team in this expansion quite yep. literally <laughs> the first time they've beaten yep. them so they saved the best 18 and one final. fuck it 18 and one bro that one win that one win bro that one and 18 one and 18 i feel like they fumbled a little bit at the end they could have divine shield use the blessing protection a little bit earlier. did you guys know the streak was coming the streak and as a result I mean, so serious now we had no idea pick up a win we didn't know the we didn't know the actual number or like the statistic behind it yeah, we didn't know we were 0-15. We knew that we were fucking getting shit on, but we didn't know that we were 0-15. And, and the question is, is this composition going to be able to actually carry... We knew that we, knew that we haven't beaten them since BFA. Win three more in a row? I don't know, but this is certainly a great start. Look at that damage on Absturge, man. Like, we all thought it was over here. It's actually so, like... like he dies holy fuck, dude. I cannot believe... I'm going to say this. And I, I, I don't I don't give a fuck if anyone says I'm complaining or whatever. Through but I cannot me. believe that monks have yeah, actually been this way like we for so long. Out. For the entire expansion. Over here. Oh, Look at this. this is certainly he doesn't connect to me. Into the situation where they can win three I'm Hodge. More in a row. I don't, I don't know. He doesn't connect to me until two seconds left in the Hodge. Look at my health. Two seconds left in the Hodge. He finally connects. Spinning crane kick. And then he literally gets a proc off of his spinning crane kick. 
and hundred owes me. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this buff right here next to Bop. Only a great start. And then. Look at that damage on Absurge, man. Rock again? We all thought it was and I'm dead. Over here. <laughs> like he died through. This killed their whole team, man. Fuck. This whole team. It's like they're fighting Fuck an it. affliction warlock. <laughs> In a previous expansion, they're all just. Fuck it. There you go. That's a series right there. We lost four one. Fuck it. It is what it is, man. I'm really happy we did well. I'm really happy with how well we did, honestly.